What we'll do in the lab is we'll have a capacitor. We'll slap 1.5 volts of charge on it for a few seconds, okay? What's going to happen is the capacitor is going to approach this voltage exponentially until we decide to switch it. What's going to happen when we switch it? The voltage is going to start approaching this, right? That looks like the voltage got from about two-thirds of this applied voltage here, right? Well, so it got from zero up to two-thirds of this. It's going to go two-thirds of the way to this one in the same time. Two-thirds of the way down to this one's only going to be about down to here. But there it is. Okay? And then it's going to go two-thirds of the way back up to this because you're going to switch it back, so it's going to go two-thirds of the way up to here. Now, that's not going to be here because two-thirds of the way from here to here is not the same as two-thirds of the way from here down to here, but it's going to come back up to about you know, two-thirds of this, okay? And then it's going to come back down to about two-thirds of this, and you want to think about how that's going to go because you're going to be able to use those fancy little interfaces to get a graph. Okay? And that's what you're going to do when you come into lab. It's very easy to set up. I'll have it set up for you because, as I say, I've got a meeting that will overlap the first hour of lab. And I'm not sure how busy I'm going to be in that meeting. If you come in here and I'm not here, there will be a piece of paper telling you what to do and there will be the stuff you need. Okay? But I want you to think about this in terms of this and in terms of the whole model that we've looked at here. Then we can use this, we can do a sine wave. We can drive this thing. Right now we're driving this thing with a voltage that goes here, 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 here. You want to think about what happens if you drive it with a voltage that looks like this. It's always chasing the voltage. Okay? Now I want you to read through the later questions. I don't even know where the document got to. Let's see. Hey, Andrew. Um, Number five, okay, and number six. There's a differential equation involved with number six that you should be able to solve. 